Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a floss tube video for you today and coffee. Um, if you're not familiar, a floss tube is a YouTube video, but I'm talking about cross stitch. And in my case, usually it's general crafting. So I'm gonna talk about cross stitch. I'm gonna talk about some knitting that I'm doing that I have to go grab, so I forgot it over there. Um, and some shopping I did for my related crafting. But it's all usually around crafting. For me, everybody does it a little different. And I wanted to start with the knitting. So hold on one second and I'll go get it. Okay, I'm back. I also wanted to turn on some lights. It's a little dark in here. It's about seven o'clock in the evening. Okay, so first up, I have some knitting. Now, this bag came from the wonderful Caroline and her team at Evertote. She, they hand make these bags, and I ordered it when I was at Stitch North Retreat, and I got yarn this time, but I love these bags. They have the handle, and these are a wedge tote, so they have a flat bottom, and, ooh, and I think they have the same bag in black, but you need to go check them out. She's got all kinds of bags. And on the inside of this is um, cream colored cotton, muslin, I think cotton. Yeah, it's a cream cotton. I love these bags. And what I do when I'm knitting is I roll it down and I make like a bucket so I can see. Oh, and they also come with this. I'm going to insert a video right here of me opening it. Okay, I opened it. I love opening mail. Um, but this was also included and it's a matching fabric, same on the inside. And I keep my notions in here, stitch minders, and I think I have some scissors for that. Um, so what I did is I signed up to do, and you would have seen the yarn, to do the sock stitch along, except for I don't care to knit sock. I don't care to knit socks. I don't mind knitting socks. I don't like wearing knitted socks. So I have started mittens because I definitely wear mittens in the winter time. And then I went ahead and ordered the coordinating yarn to make a cowl to match. So for this winter, if I get it done, I will have a matching set. Um, I just took a basic, I think tin can knits pattern for their basic gusset um, mitten. So you cast on, it, it is free pattern on Ravelry. I just did a cast on. And the great thing about these sock sets is if you start at the right end, you get a matching pair. So I usually do mine in tandem so that I, um, I don't get second sock syndrome this way, or in this case, second mitten syndrome. And um, yeah, so this is where I am. I'm almost done with the cuff on this one, which is why I started this one. So what I will do is I'll get this one up to the same, same height as that, and then I'll determine if I'm gonna start the thumbs or not, the gusset for the thumb. So I grabbed this, and initially I had not purchased um, the Stitch Along by Ellen at Maximum Cross Stitch because I'm like, I have so many projects. And then I got to look in and I was like, well, I'm gonna order the yarn. So then I ordered the yarn. I'm like, well, I might as well get the pattern. So then I got the pattern and um, then I bought the floss pack. So it's all coming, it's just not here. Um, I didn't get another bag because I already have the bag. Um, this I can use for cross stitching or knitting. I do tend to like the um, wedge totes for knitting because they hold a project. This would definitely, I think it's the medium bag, would definitely hold a like small sweater, cowl, socks, all the things, multiple projects really. So that's where I started, was on my mittens. And I wanna get them done before September because that's when the stitch along is starting for sampler September. Okay. Now, on to cross stitch. I have some finishes. Uh, my first finish was my March, June ornament. All right, let's do this backwards. My May ornament. These are not fully finished, the two of them, but one is. I just have to decide what I want to do. But I got this pattern was a freebie at Stitch North. Get it? Stitch North, eh? Canada, 2023. 
and this is about four by four I would say this is 40 count or 36 count I can't remember but I oh wait 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 for it it's 40 count candy apple and it is a stitcher's quarter so it's a big piece of fabric um but I just did the little corner so I have a ton of this fabric left to do all the wonderful things and as soon as I decide if I want to make a pillow or hard ornament out of this I will cut it I need to have like a finishing day I've just been super busy so I finished this for May and then in my June ornament which I did fully finish I took this pattern and I added the Santa hat myself and this is off of a tiny modernist biscorn you pattern and i started it on 16 count ada which is what it called for but i wasn't liking how it looked i think i want to do the biscorn you on linen so i just stitched one decided i would turn it into a christmas ornament and this is from the uh, dollar tree it's just a wooden ornament and this was from an old target something or other just you know joy and I hung it up and this is gonna go I think this year I'm gonna have 12 ornaments and I have a little tree that goes in my bay window and I'm gonna put all these ornaments or on my bedroom Christmas tree that sits on my dresser I could put all these ornaments on that as well so May June and hold on to your hat kids because I finished July now, to be fair, I started this one at Stitch North. Um, I had about half of Santa done when I got home from Stitch North. So I had his feet, I had to line his feet and about half his jacket. So I did all this, it's so quick. I did this in like two days. Um, the, the longest was the Noel and that didn't even take long at all. Um, I changed up all the colors. None of these are by the pattern. This is the pattern, it's by Hands On Design. I do not know when this will be available into the wild. I bought this as part of the Jingle Ball um, ornament pack. It was like $10 and you got 12 ornaments. And this is one of them. I do wanna use the striped ribbon. I need to get some stuff. But, so what I did is I said, well, stitch up what you got. And I was at, at Stitch North and I bought powdered up the lovely Hannah helped me and I got powdered up here I don't know what the colors these are green thumb is the green this is some gold I don't know don't ask me um and then I just pulled from my stash oh that's a good picture it's a finish so i have finished and i'll put this back i do eventually want to stitch all 12 ornaments i'm not sure if i'll get to all 12 this year uh because there's other small things oh and i have enough fabric really to do a whole nother ornament this is 16 count haunted ada fabric it's an 8 by 12 i honestly don't remember where i got it um ptp Picture this plus. It's picture this plus 16 count haunted Ada. I think I got it at Keepsakes in Cincinnati last year. I pulled it from my stash because I have lots of these little fabrics I wanna use and I really loved this color. So I'm thinking I might do another ornament for Christmas or like a little Halloween. I think this would look really cool with like a black cat and the moon or something. So I have more fabric of that, and I also have more of that red fabric. So that is my three little finishes. Nothing, ooh, keep this rated G, Lori. Um, that was it for my finishes. I've been so busy and traveling, but I have some works in progress to share with you, a couple. Uh, the current big project that I'm working on is the Kringles by Little House Needlework. This is, she's a big one. Now, to be fair, I have the entire building stitched. I just have to go in and do these rooms. And it's, it's not that I don't enjoy it, but I don't enjoy all the color changes. So I'm having a really hard time making myself stitch it. 
So I, I'll show you where I'm at and I'm just gonna go room by room and that's all I can do. Um, it is all the called for floss and I hand dyed the fabric myself. So it's Little House Needleworks. Um, I got this when it came out at Market from Cross My Heart and I got the whole thing kitted up minus the fabric. So I'm working on this and here is where I'm at. Like I said, the whole building has been stitched. It's just the rooms. So the front door is done. That is complete. And over here, I just have this little house, a little bit up here and a chandelier. And then this room is done, I think. No, well, I have some like, I need to go back and add cherries on those little white cakes and a little touch up. But this is, this room is probably 75% done. The chandelier is the next big thing once I fill in this gingerbread house. So that is done and then I started over here. I had to take just a few stitches of this black and so I came over here. And that's kind of gonna be my goal is, the problem, I didn't work out well in this specific two rooms because this is all the dark that there is in this room and this whole bottom is a lot of dark. There's a carriage here. Um, yeah, there's a big dark carriage. It's this room here. And then a lot of the white and red. So I just, you know, I finished the door, the doorway entry, which was a big, a big thing. And I'm working over here. I am doing it. This is, like I said, 32 count. I don't even remember what fabric. I bought it a big honking piece at Hobby Lobby and I dyed it myself. This like cement color gray. And yeah, I still have the needle in the back. If you want to see the back. I'm not overly terribly worried about the backs of my projects. I do try not to carry thread if I feel like it's going to show through. And where this gray is kind of light, I try not to carry my threads. But you do what you got to do, right? I'm not, I, no, I am no police. You do what you need to do, okay? I'm not coming for anybody and I don't think anybody else is. Um, but I can show you if I take off my little thingies. It's, this is how big it'll be. I don't want to take it out of the Q-snap until I need to move up to the next set of rooms. And I'm hoping I can maybe get both sets in. So I have seven and a half rooms to go. There is no way this is going to be done this Christmas. But my goal right now is just to keep plunking away at each room. You know, every month, give it some attention. I'm leaving it out and that's how it's gotta be. I don't know why I'm struggling and maybe, you know, I'll, I'll pick up the mood when Christmas gets a little closer. I don't know. But I before I start anything else large, this needs to get finished, so. The Kringles, I've been working on that. And let me tell you this, you definitely need working copies. I'm not even kidding. I write all over them. I don't like ruining, marking up my patterns for sure. Okay, the next thing I worked on in this bag that I made, and I'm working on one for Hannah, hi sweet Hannah, to ship over to the UK. I got her Halloween fabric and I have one I wanna make for myself. But this is the one I made. A little prototype. I use the pattern from Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. Here's what I'm going to tell you. If you have a lot of floss, it kind of bulges out a little bit, but it's okay. So this is, uh, apparently I'm doing a stitch along on this, but I'm not doing a very good job. Uh, maximum cross stitch. Again, there's always room. I would like to have this done by September when I start the other part, the other sampler. Uh, but we'll see. So that's, that's a big house. That's a big house. But I have a little bit of a start on it. I'm not too terrible. I didn't iron. I don't typically like to iron until I have finished a project because I don't like to over iron things. So the border connects. I have half the flowers in the border. Let me show you. Um, down here, I have the two berry bowls and I'm starting on the grass to the house. And then I think I wanna put my name in here, my last name, 
or something of that nature. So I'm leaving that empty, but I'm getting ready to move up to the house. And I feel like once the house is done, we're gonna be cooking with gas, right? This is either 36 or 40 count dirty porcelain. It's from Roxy Floss Co. And again, it's large. I can cut this down. I should cut this down. I gave my, I don't even know why I started in the middle of Siberia over here. I mean, that's just a lot of margin, but whatevs. I guess it's better to have too much margin than not enough, right? I just am loving this. I love the colors. Look at these little berry bowls. Look at those. Aren't those everything? I love it. She did a fantastic job for her first pattern and I love it. So uh, that is in here. And then I do have, I have a mix of floss. I did not buy the floss pack for it. So here's my thing. I have a ton of Roxy floss. I've been in the club since the beginning. So I have a fair amount. So I went through and I pulled all the Roxy floss that I had. And then I went and pulled DMC for the rest. Because I'm like, I really want to use my floss. And I have no issues mixing and matching. So it's half DMC, half Roxy. And then the floss bling was made for us by Susan, the blue crab stitcher, who I met in England and is from Washington DC area or Delaware. And I like to call her my friend. And so I keep that on this pattern because Carrie was there from Roxy Floss. I bought the pattern from Evertote and Ellen's friends with, if you hear her, she, Ellen is Caroline's friend who owns Evertote. Evertote. So, I mean, it's full circle. And then I made the project bag. So that's just another whip. I have not been working on it, but now that I have finished my July ornament, I will hopefully work on that for the rest of the month. And then the last thing I worked on this month is um, my Tiny Modernist. I hope you can see this. Now, these are actually, it is the Woodland Creatures and I think Woodland Christmas. Woodland Christmas, I'll show you the patterns. But you get a pattern a month and I think they're designed to do as ornaments, but I wanted to put them all on one piece and I'm gonna make a big Christmas um, piece to put out. And this is all Roxy floss. And again, I just pulled from my stash. I'm like, I need a green, that's a great green. I needed this, I needed that. And I love Roxy floss. So I pulled all this and I was afraid I wouldn't have enough. So I did do some ordering of backup floss for the colors that I felt like I would need. I can always order more or sub in what I need, but I think I have enough of the green border and the pink and white and stuff. So I have finished part one, which is the ornament. And this is how they come. They're $11 a month and I just pay and they come to me. I have finished the reindeer. I have finished the ornament and the snowman. Eventually I need to just give all these patterns away because I have stitched them on. Or I could put them out on buy, sell, trade or something, I'm sure, but I'll figure that part out at a later date. This is also an Evertote bag. Isn't it magical? I bought it, I think, last Christmas. And look at the little... I don't always use these, um, but I keep them with the bag because they they come in very handy. If I take these out of the house, then I fill them up with my um, notions. And then I put a little, nope, it came with this little joy charm. I love it so much. And that is it, let me put this away, uh, for the things that I have actively been stitching. So I will tell you here, the reason that I haven't really been doing a ton of stitching is I have something in the works I'm cooking up. Um, I created something. I can't tell you what it is just yet. I'm waiting on the printer 
to tell me what it's the cost so that I know what to sell it for and I have three shops who are willing to carry it it should hopefully be out soon and as soon as it is I will make its own personal video for itself but Evertote's going to be carrying it and I believe keepsake and maybe Sherry at the Colorado cross stitcher but I have to get I have to get the final print first so keep your eyes peeled for that Oh, and this is also a bag. I make these little bags, and it, I, that's where I had my sticker. Um, just for, You need lots of little Notion pouches, guys, if you didn't know that. Like, I just have Notions. I have them a lot all over my house. Okay. Now, what have I purchased re recently? So, this is the haul section. Um, I showed this before, but I got the pattern in. So... I pre-ordered this and it's called Sing After the Storm and it's going to be a multi-part section. You'll have to watch Caroline um, at Off the Grid Needle Art or she talks about it in Between Two Whips. Um, but this is from the 1897 Stitcher and the 1897 Stitcher is, came out with this pattern. It's all from a larger antique sampler, I believe. And then she's going to come out with more parts and then we're gonna do a patchwork with it so each I think she said five parts maybe more but I think she said five maybe six one two yeah five one two three four I think five and then you could put your fabric here but the idea is to you can make a big patchwork quilt bag with the pattern so I got the pattern and apparently if I would have read and stopped talking for five seconds at the retreat, I would have known that I needed to go pick up the pattern, which I didn't. It's fine. I got it shipped to me. So I pre-ordered and it came with this bag and Caroline knows me so well with the black cats. I love it. This is coming with me most likely when I go to Europe next year. Um, oh, this was from Stitch North Swag. Oh, I think, I think the idea was to stitch this on a white fabric and use this red, but I wanted red fabric, so I stitched it with white. So I, this came as a giveaway. But here is the palette. Like, I'm dying. What is that pink? Is that oink? I don't know. It doesn't matter. These are gorgeous. So these are all the flosses. For this which I do need to get this started so I got this in the floss pack and the fabric fun thing is I don't remember what size fabric I ordered it's either 36 or 40 I, I don't know I don't even know what color it is I do need to figure out <laughs> I do need to figure out what size it is because when I get the next one I need to be able to stitch it Ooh, I should probably ask somebody at Evertote if they remember what I ordered. Yeah, I better do that. But there's the fabric that it will be stitched on. And let's just look at the gourd here. Let me take these out. You're just getting a glare. And I need to take them out because I need to start this. This will not take long. It's a, it's a relatively small stitch. It is... 70 by 88 and it's not it's not large it's just that right there look at those birds ah. and then they're gonna try to make things match but it's not oh i also forgot to get a free skein of floss um okay what else but look at that aren't they everything so this is Roxy Floss Strawberry Shortcake, Green and Barrett. Oh, I love it. It almost looks black on camera, but it is definitely a dark green. Plus my lighting isn't good right now. Uh, Follow Red, which is a favorite of mine. Deja Blue, oh, love it. Chocolate Ganache, that is like the best brown. Cheeky another red this is oh asparagus that is like an awesome green asparagus arugula 
and almond. So for this first one, these are all the colors that will go with this kit. And like I said, I kind of need to figure out what size fabric I ordered so that I know for the next square what size fabric to get. So I will get with Caroline at Evertote. So this came in the mail um, because I wasn't paying attention. Like you do. Like I do. Okay. Let me see. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, here's another thing I bought. So I was down at my my local needle store, which is Cross My Heart here in Columbus. And I was just dropping in to see what they had. And I bought, this is a honey of a tiny town. It's the bee one. And they, this, they all come with the little buttons that you need. So I grabbed this. And while I was down in Cincinnati, I found this, right? It's a wall hanging. It was on clearance for $7. And I decided it's a tiny town. This is like the perfect thing to mount them on. And my, my mantle, I need a drink. My mantle has a TV mounted. So this would be nice under the TV, it'll fit. But it was $7 dollars regularly 9.99 compared at 15 i got it at gabe's which is a discount store <coughs> excuse me so i thought this was perfect but i needed it to be big so i did some math and decided that it needed to be stitched on 28 count so i ordered some roxy linen on panettone 28 count and I also got it on a fat quarter, and I believe I'll do it this direction, I think. And I can probably get two, maybe three tiny towns on here, um, depending on the measurements. I'll have to do the math again, just to make sure which direction to start it. But I'm pretty sure it, I need to stitch it the long way. <coughs> and it's gonna be long enough to cover, you know, it'll go out to like here. And then I'll put some fun fabric, I'll hang it on some coordinating fabric behind it and then with magnets and then I can change it out with the different ones. I did ord any town um, that has keepsakes and 310 and the little shops in Cincinnati. So I need to keep these things together because these go together with this. And I wanna keep all that and I'll just pull floss. I'm just really into the pull floss from my stash situation. Um, I went to a thrift store and I found this little custom framed piece. First of all, I need to save the stitches, um, but I'm not saving these stitches. It was $2 and this is a custom frame. And I think that that is um, museum glass. There's no glare to it, a, a little bit, but you're not getting a big glare. I think that's museum glass and it was definitely um, custom framed. And I will tell you, I have found another piece at the same thrift store um, and I'm thinking the same people donated to them. So I'm excited to have these little frames. And if I don't love the color with what I'm gonna stitch it with, I can always spray paint. Yeah, it's a nice little thing. It even has the little wall protectors. I mean, these were custom stitch, custom frames. So I picked that up for $1.99 for future processing. Um, I have two Roxy Floss shipments. So I have June, look at all those neutrals. And I think some of these will be really good skin tones. Um, but I think these are fantastic. And then this is July. Oh, look at this purple. I, I don't want to take them out because I need to put them away. So we'll just try real hard to show you. But anyway, and in July, I got a bonus skein. And I don't know which one is the bonus. 
but I got six skeins in July because I belong to the club. Before July, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. These are all these are like mushroomy colors. Oh, I cannot wait. I needed more neutrals in my life. Although I do think I want to join the brights next. So I grab I got two months delivery of that. Okay. Then I did some random shopping like you do. I did an order on the Fat Quarter Shop for some fabric and they had this for a dollar. And so I grabbed it because I think that's awesome for Halloween. And I'm definitely gonna stitch this. It's a prairie schooler. It's the, it's called Miss Fortune. <laughs> Get it, Miss Fortune? So this is two colors. Yeah, it's just, well, three colors white orange and black and i love it so i'm gonna stitch there and then i don't know why anybody didn't tell me this and maybe this is new but i don't feel like it's new 21 from erica michaels it's i'm sorry life is better life is better and it says life is better with a cat and then there's the cat berry how did i not know and this one came with the little buttons for these two patterns. And these are definitely going to need to be done up. I mean, I guess I could do it for Halloween, but I'm not. I mean, these, in my house, we got black hats all the time. So these stay out. I got two of them. One sleeping over there and one sleeping over there somewhere. So this is everyday decor around here. Heck, I didn't put 13 in the or Yeah, 31 in the middle. 13 in the middle. That could stay out too. But the black cats, heck yeah. And I might even do one, a solid black cat, and do one, um, a tuxedo like my Wellington. We'll see. So I have those two patterns. Let me move that. Let's put this over here. I'll show it to you in a second. It was another order, but. And then this I think is new. And it is antique cats and crowns. I'm sorry, what? Do you see this? Antique cats and crowns. Like I'm dying. The kitten stitcher, it's by Shakespeare's Peddler. Um, 36 count gingerbread by Picture This Plus and they used silk, but I'm not gonna use silk. My hands are too dry for silk. Oh my gosh, is that everything? And then some, look at all these crowns and the black hat. So this is next. I mean, I gotta stick to that too. Um, okay, and then my tiny modernists. I must not have shown this to you for a while or I didn't, didn't put them away. So I'll put them away after this. But number five, look at that sweet angel. Oh my goodness, I love her. Uh, part six is the Christmas tree. And I will just continue to stitch on these. Oh, the, this is a uh, counted cross stitch. This is uh, la, 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 a dove. Oh, I love this. Oh, look at the squirrel. It's a squirrel, a Christmas squirrel and a Christmas fox. Like what? So I'm up to part nine. I have three more coming. Let me put these away and they, they all live in the Christmas bag. And the fabric I didn't tell you about on these because it was in a freebie. It was a freebie fabric. It's a 32 count something or other. I don't really know. I'm pretty sure it's 32 count. Some something or other. I, I don't know because it was just on a freebie table. But it worked out perfectly for this. And I don't like to take freebies if I'm not going to use the freebies. That's kind of how we look at things. All right, now, lastly, when I was down, I mentioned that I went down to the um, keepsakes. I picked up, let's keep our trash and our mess to a minimum. This is going to be so long, guys. One of these bags by It's So Emma. It's the mesh. And I know they sell these at the Fat Quarter Shop, and a lot of people stitch on them. It has a boxed bottom, which I think is fantastic. So here's the thing. I'm going. I'm not sure I understand. My watch just scared me. Siri, don't don't talk. Um, I'm going to 
the big stitch next year in England. And so my goal is for everything stitchy related needs to fit in this bag. It will go right in my suitcase. So I'm thinking I could probably fit this in here and then like to hold all my floss and notions and patterns and then whatever I buy needs to fit in here to come home. So I'm probably not gonna stitch on it. I did get the olive color because I think that is fun. But this is pretty lightweight but durable. It has the box bottom so if I get a little crazy and buy too much, it definitely will hold a fair amount of stuff and it doesn't weigh a lot. So I feel like it'll slip because I'm trying to do carry on or even if I check it, I want carry on size fabric. Now on the way home, maybe I have to check it. That's fine. I will have paid for luggage. I just would prefer not to have luggage checked, especially on the way over and customs and things. But anyway, so I grabbed this large, I think it's a large size. And like I said, it's not overly heavy, but it definitely is sturdy and to slip it into my suitcase. It has some give to it, but it's not overly bulky. So I'm kind of thinking this will be my stitching. Everything I'm taking needs to fit in here. And I, it will fit because I'm not taking a lot and I made, I'll have to show it to you one time. I think I did show you, but I'll show you again, a little like Altoids tin. And that is my entire stitching notions pouch stuff. It's got scissors, needles, a highlighter, tweezers. It has everything in there that I need. So I bought that bag while I was down there because I was thinking ahead. You're going to notice a theme. This says I work hard so my cat can have a better life. I'm assuming this is supposed to be 310, but it's Wellington or Alex. Um, I love these coasters with $6 at Keepsakes. I, um, I love these thirsty coasters and I always have a cold drink. So I love these. So I grabbed that and, oh, I got, oh yeah, I can stitch this on that same fabric. I got the Halloween Tiny Town as well. I will change up the colors, I think. Um, but it also comes with the little, oh, I'm not supposed to be showing you pattern, so don't screenshot that. But it also comes with the little buttons. And from what I've been hearing from folks, this stitches up pretty quickly. So I got the Halloween Tiny Town. And then I must be in a very Halloween mood. I also got the Cat in the Moon pattern. And this is by Brenda Gervais. I mean, isn't that everything? This is adorable. It, I don't know how big it is. Oh, 52 by 53. So it's pretty small. It was from 2018. I'm gonna take it out for a second and see if this is the only pattern in here. I think so. Oh yeah, and then it has a pattern for the, yeah, that is, oh, there is a little tiny moon, okay. Oh, I see the moon up here. You don't really see it in the picture, but there is a moon and he has on a, a white hat, a white, but it's a black hat. And I think we have established that I like black cats. So this again would be an everyday occurrence at my house. It doesn't have to be just for Halloween. So this is on the radar. I have a lot of patterns on the radar. Have you noticed that? Me too. And then the last thing I purchase is God Save the Queen. I mean, come on. Is that everything? I had originally had in my hand a smaller one, but then I decided I need this one. And this is Annie B's folk, folk art. I don't know when this was. 2017. But it's everything. And I think that that crown in the center, yeah, is going to be some gold sparkly something, something. And on the, and I might do the outline of the wings with the silver. 
Oh, I love it. And this one is on, it was stitched on 40 count. Doesn't tell me, I'm sure it does on the end. Oh, it's 111 by 111 square. So that's a fairly decent size stitch, but yeah, I need to stitch this ASAP. So that, my friends, is everything that's been going on in my stitchy crafty life for the last month. I need to try to get better at making videos. And as soon as I get this project that I've been working on off the ground, I will have more time to do that. I'm so, I'm glad you came. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk with you later.